Hi students. Students, we have learned earlier that all organisms need food, water and oxygen for survival. Isn't it? Yes. They also need to transport all these to various parts of their body. Further, animals need to transport wastes to parts from where they can be removed. So students, have you ever wondered how all this is achieved? How all these substances are carried out in our body? Well, in circulatory system of our body, we see the heart and the blood vessels. They function to transport substances and together form the circulatory system. So, in today's session, we are going to learn about the transport of substances in animals and plants. We'll also see that what kind of substances are there in our body which are transported and which are necessary to be transported. So students, let us start with today's interesting session and learn about transport of substances in animals and plants. So students, this is our session one in which we are going to study about transport of substances. Students, before studying about transport of substances, I would like to share something that we learned about respiration in living organisms in the previous uh, sessions. So there are other body processes too that are equally important. An organ inside our body beats up real fast while we are running. So can we identify the organ? Yes. Well, you need to think about it. The air taken in while breathing needs to reach every nook and corner of our body. This is where circulation comes in. And our heart plays a very important role in it. Even plants and other organisms have their own way of transporting substances within their bodies. Besides air, there are other substances that also need to be transported in a living body. So you see students that there are various methods by which plants and animals transport materials inside your body. Our body generates a number of waste products while carrying out its various functions. So these need to be removed regularly or it will harm the body. So this is the task of the excretory system. So, in this lesson, we will study about circulatory system and excretory system as well. But, before stepping up to the excretory system, let us first learn something about the transport of substances. Yes, students, the process of transport of substances is very important in a living body. This ensures that the different organ systems of the living organism work efficiently. So basically, there are many such substances which needs to be transported in the living body. Because this will ensure that the different organ systems of the living organism work efficiently. So students, let us see what substances or which substances are there to be transported, which needs to be transported in the body. Yes, the following are some of the substances that need to be transported. So first of all is the food. Food to all the cells where it will be broken down or oxidized for the release of energy. So food is one such substance which needs to be transported because it breaks down, the food breaks down into smaller molecules, sorry, smaller or smaller components for the release of energy. Second substance which needs to be transported in a living body is oxygen, which is required for the oxidation process. After these two substances comes the third substance which needs to be transported and which is very important 
and that is water and minerals. Water and minerals which are required for proper functioning of the body of an organism. And lastly, waste products. Waste products formed as a result of life activities which needs to be removed from the cells and the body. So, all these substances are very important because they play a very important inevitable role in our body and they all need to be transported. So students, mainly oxygen is transported by the main system which is the circulatory system in which red blood cells play a very important role. They contain a special pigment known as hemoglobin. And this pigment plays an important part in the transport of oxygen by the red blood cells. So, students remember, when blood passes through the lungs, oxygen is diffused from the lungs to the blood. And the oxygen is then transported by red blood cells to other parts of the body. And along the way, as it passes the other cells, it gives up the oxygen to these cells which are undergoing respiration. How amazing our system is. Right? Students, the main transport system used in transporting carbon dioxide is the blood plasma. Carbon dioxide is produced by the cells during respiration as a waste product. So as we discussed that waste products are formed as a result of life activities which also needs to be removed from the cells and the body. So carbon dioxide is a waste product which is produced by the cells during respiration as a waste product. So what happens that the gas diffuses through the capillary walls and it gets back into the blood. So when the blood plasma carry most of the dissolved carbon dioxide back to the lungs, in the lungs carbon dioxide diffuses out of the blood and is expelled out with the exhaled air. Besides oxygen and carbon dioxide, the blood also transports the digested food hormones and urea. So, all these substances are very inevitable and they need to be transported in our body. Right? So that it can ensure that different organ systems of the living organism is working very efficiently. Right, so that was all about, sorry, all about the transport of substances. Now, let us study about the new topic, a very important topic in today's session, and it is the transport in animals.